কথা জান করছে না কি শুরু করে দিবে কি করে জানো চিন্তা করে দেখেনা শুরু করবে না সত্যি <laughs> Okay. Uh, so uh, today I'll be going to start the second class of this uh, session that is the discussion session and uh, we'll be uh, solving problems we'll be solving uh, 11 problems today and uh, myself Kalpita Nath I am, I am undergoing currently undergoing my PhD research uh, under Professor Shunan Dash Gupta at IIT Karakpur so uh, Today we'll be starting with week 2 without any further ado. So this is the question number 1. Okay, so uh, here we can see 4 uh, graphs like here we, uh, we can see the shear stress versus shear wave plot and here we can uh, we can see four graphs so we have to distinguish or categorize between the Newtonian and different non-Newtonian fields. So here we go. So before solving this, I'll be uh, I'll be starting with uh, some basic explanations. Uh, 
some basic explanations. So, what is a uh, Newtonian fluid? The fluid that follows Newton's law of viscosity, uh, that is, uh, shear stress is directly proportional to uh, dv dy. That is the uh, uh, that is the velocity uh, velocity velocity rate. Uh, the rate of change is velocity. And uh, if we equalize it, that will be the shear stress is is equal to mu dy. dy. So, uh, here uh, in the Newton's law of viscosity, uh, the fluid that follows the Newton's law of viscosity have constant viscosity. Uh, so, they flow the same regardless of what force you apply. But in case of non-Newtonian fluid, the viscosity can change and as we have an apparent viscosity there. How apparent viscosity? Let me uh, share another screen to make you understand that. Make to act a link with she act to join call that should not change on your knee on both of our chin. Your name, male got you. Okay, so let me share the another screen, the writing pad, from which I'll be uh, showing you some basic equations about the apparent viscosity. <coughs> So, uh, in non-Newtonian fluid that follows uh, Power's law, that follows okay. tau xy is equal to m tau dy whole to the power n. <coughs> Here, m is the consistency index and n is the flow behavior index and this is the shear rate. If we write this as m du dy whole to the power n minus 1 and du dy, this we can take as uh, eta dash du dy, where this eta dash is equal to m du dy whole to the power n minus 1. This eta dash is the apparent viscosity. Okay. Uh, the viscosity is basically a physical property that characterizes the flow resistance of a simple fluid. This ratio, this is the ratio of shear stress to the shear uh, shear rate of a fluid, and is constant for Newtonian fluid, but in case of non-Newtonian fluid, it changes as per the shear rate. So, uh, <clears throat> we learned about non-Newtonian fluid that follows the power's law. Uh, so, if uh, there are different kind of non-Newtonian fluid uh, based on this N, based on this N. So, if this N is equal to 1, this will be Newtonian fluid. If this n is less than 1, this is for pseudoplastic fluid that shows a flatter profile as compared to the profile for Newtonian fluid. 
and for extreme pseudoplastic fluid we can observe a plug flow among the uh, in a circular pipe in case of n greater than 1 we can get dilatant that is uh, for dilatant fluid the n will be greater than 1 this n will be greater than 1 okay for extreme dilatant fluid that is n is equal to infinity the velocity proof profile is a linear function of radius that is maximum at the center uh, like let me draw it for you okay. it is the newtonian profile right if this is the center of the tube as n will decrease we can get profile like this and this this is for n is equal to 0.5 approximately this is n is equal to 1 and for this this is n is equal to 0 okay and uh, in case of dilatant fluid the uh, profile will become more steeper gradually like like this it will be more steeper this is in case of n is equal to infinite at midpoint that is at the center this will be maximum this is the velocity profile okay so r is equal to r r is equal to 0 this is the pipe wall so this will be the profile in uh, in case of bingham plastic fluid we can get a combination of dilatant fluid and dilatant fluid profile and the pseudoplastic profile that is in the middle portion we will get a plug flow and on the sides we will get a parabolic profile So, the plug flow region. And this is the parabolic region. This is R0. This is R0. This is the velocity profile. This is the velocity profile. And this is the shear stress profile. If we plot the shear stress accordingly, this will decrease like this. At the center, the shear stress will be minimum. This is R0, this is R0, this is capital R, that is the pipe radius. This is mid portion of the center. This is for the Bingham plastic profile, that is Bingham plastic fluid that have an uh, initial uh, yield stress and after that we can get a profile uh, like a, a gradually increasing profile when we plot a shear stress as compared to shear rate. If I plot the shear rate versus shear, shear stress versus shear rate curve, it will be like this. This is for Newtonian fluid. Okay. And this is for pseudoplastic fluid or shear thin. And this is for dilatant fluid. or shear thickening okay shear uh, this is shear thickening and this is the bingham plastic fluid this is shear stress and this is shear rate okay uh, 
So what is a uh, shear thickening fluid? Shear thickening fluid means with with increase in uh, uh, with increase in strain rate. That is, this with is with increase in shear rate, the velocity so sorry the viscosity will be gradually increasing, and shear thinning means it will be gradually gradually decreasing. Let me give you an example of dilatant and an example of pseudoplastic fluid. Uh, in case of uh, in case of uh, pseudoplastic fluid, we can get take uh, we can take example of blood that is basically a shear thinning fluid with uh, increase in uh, strain rate. Uh, the viscosity will be decreasing gradually, and uh, uh, ketchup or paints. But uh, uh, an example of shear thickening fluid is like cornstarch and water. If you mix cornstarch and water with uh, with gradual increase in strain rate, we can see it becomes more viscous. So the viscosity will increase gradually along with uh, shear rate, uh, like as we increase the shear rate. So now, now if I look into the question, if I look into the question, uh, like, can you tell me which one of this answer will be true? I've already shown you to the graph. So, here we can see that the top one obviously is the Bingham plastic fluid. The one number, one number is the Newtonian fluid. Two number is the, uh, two number is the pseudoplastic fluid and three is the dilatant fluid. So, if we look into the answer, the answer will be C. That is, one is Newtonian fluid, two is the pseudoplastic fluid, three is the dilatant fluid, and four is the Wigner plastic. Fluid. Okay. So uh, I'll now proceed to the second question. Consider a liquid flowing over a flat plate under laminar flow conditions such that the liquid air interface is flat. There is there is no uh, undulations in the liquid air interface. Uh, for such a situation, uh, for such a situation, what would be the boundary condition at the liquid air interface? Okay, as there is no undulation at liquid air interface, uh, this is a hint. Okay, so uh, I'll give you one minute to answer this question. After that, I'll uh, I'll straight away give the answer. Okay. Okay. Since there is no undulation at the liquid air interface, uh, so no shear at the interface will be the perfect uh, boundary condition applicable here. Okay. So uh, I'll now proceed to the third question. The velocity distribution for laminar flow between two parallel plates is given, where h is the distance separating the plates and the origin is placed midway between the plates. Consider a flow of water at 15 degrees Celsius with a maximum speed of 0.05 meter per second and h is 0.1 mm. Calculate the force on a 1 meter square section of the lower plate. Uh, and mu is given and thus choose the closest value. Okay. Uh, I'll give you one minute to solve this. After that, I'll show you the, like, I'll solve it with you. Thank you. 
শোনা যাচ্ছে কিনা চেক কর so okay uh, okay i'll not proceed to the uh, to the third question solution of the third question the third question you have already marked uh, let me show the question once more kindly note down the values so that after that we can uh, gradually proceed towards the solution Okay, so this is question number three. We have Q max is given as 0 0.05 meter per second. Uh, is the writing pad visible? Okay, so uh, U max is given as 0 0.05 meter per second. According to the question, this is the pipe and H is given as 0.1 M. It's given in the question that, uh, it's given in the question that, uh, H is the separating distance between the plates and the origin is placed midway between the plates. Okay. Origin is placed midway, placed midway between the plates. So, um, this Y is equal to plus H by 2 and here Y is equal to minus H by 2. 
as origin is said to be placed in between. Here force is applied in this direction. So now the force F is equal to tau y x into A. Force is equal to pressure into area. So this is the pressure that is the stress and into area. And tau y x is equal to mu du dy. Bolchi, Duto screen that has a chicken at the Duto screen at a question or I took them solution. Butta Vidak. Okay, uh, so this is the shear stress that is mu du dy. So, uh, mu du dy and uh, du dy we need to find out that is that will be d dy of u max 1 minus 2 y by h whole square. This is the equation that is given. If we do d dy of this, this will be u max 4 by h square. 2y. So, this will be 8 u max y by h square. 8 u max y by h square. So, star y x is equal to 8 mu u max y by h square. And hence, F is equal to the force is equal to tau y x into a and F is equal to 8 a mu u max y by a square. Now we have to find out at lower surface at 1 meter square section of the lower surface that is the lower plate. So what we have to do for that? What is given? At lower surface, y is equal to minus h by 2 and h is equal to 0.1 mm. And area is given 1 meter square. That is for 1 meter square we need to find out. We need to find out uh, the force. So, and u max is also given as 0 0.05 meter per second. And mu is given as 1.14 into 10 to the power minus 3 Newton second per meter square. Okay. So, if we put the gradual values in this equation, this equation, equation number 1. Okay. So, F will be is equal to 8 into 1 meter square into 1.14 into 10 to the power minus 3 Newton second per meter square into 0 0.05 meter per second into minus 0.1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter okay and uh, this will be 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square meter square this if we solve we will get 2.28 Newton. This, this is positive. So, this is to the right. The force is to the right. As we can already see. Here. This is the force. This will be towards the right. Okay. So, next uh, we'll proceed to the question number 4 to 5. So, this question number 4 to 5 is a link question. Okay. Mm. 
this is there is a uh, there is a gas absorption tower given in an experiment and a viscous fluid is flowing upward through the uh, uh, through a small circular tube through this circular tube is flowing up, upward and then uh, it is flowing downward in a laminar flow on the outside in this particular case the momentum is flowing through the uh, the momentum is flowing through the cylindrical surface in the negative r direction okay so momentum is flowing in this direction negative r direction so what is the question number four a uh, if we draw a momentum balance over the small thickness of the shell delta r over small thickness of the shell delta r in this if we do momentum balance then uh, uh, will uh, the, the film will give rise to which of the following equation i'll give you two minutes to solve and this question will be displayed here after that we'll uh, gradually solve the equation by the momentum balance okay Okay, uh, so is it done or should I wait for two more minutes? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oke, okay, uh, so I'll start with the uh, solution. So this will be the So this will be the solution of uh, question number 4 Okay So we'll start with the solution First, we'll do the momentum balance. Okay. So, uh, obviously, here, first, convective mass that is in on a strip is equal to convective mass that is out. That means no convective contribution, no convective contribution and there will be no pressure gradient as well. As there is free flowing fluid. So, if we take this into consideration and uh, we do the derivation, this will be tau rz at r into 2 pi rl. This, uh, this is the, uh, there will be a small strip like if, as we can see in the question, this is the strip, right? This is the strip. So, this will be 2 pi r and l minus tau rz r plus del r 2 pi r plus del r l plus 2 pi r del r l rho g this is the gravitational force obviously it is falling on the gravity so gravitational force will be there now dividing everything by 2 pi del r l r tau rz at r minus tau rz at r plus del r r plus del r upon del r plus r rho g is equal to 0 now taking limit del r tends to 0 and as del r tends to 0 only. So this equation gets reduced to limit del r tends to 0 r tau r z r plus del r minus r tau r z at r upon del r plus r rho g is equal to 0. This we can write as minus ddr of r tau rz plus rho g r is equal to 0. This is the equation and tau rz is equal to minus mu dvz 
dy. So this will be mu d dr of r d v z dr plus rho g r is equal to zero. This is the main equation. So what will be the answer? If we see to the question, if we look into the question, the answer is A. Now let us go to the second question, like the fifth question. Yeah. Choose the correct boundary condition for this system. Okay, I will wait for uh, two more minutes to one minute to understand uh, and uh, tell me about the correct boundary condition. Okay. Uh, so, what will be the solution? Yes. If we apply the correct boundary condition, one boundary condition will be at small r is equal to capital R, Vz is equal to 0. Uh, small z, uh, r is equal to capital R, Vz is equal to 0. That is at the wall, at the wall surface, that is at the pipe surface, the Vz is equal to 0 at small r is equal to a r d v z del r is equal to 0. This is the boundary condition. What uh, is this boundary condition? Which one? This is c. Right. Okay. We are now solved. We have now solved this one. Let us go with the Okay. Okay. So uh, there is the link question from six to eight. What is this question? Is that there is a cylindrical rod of radius kappa r, and that is moving agilely with a velocity v z is equal to v naught. This side is moving this side along with the axis of the cylindrical cavity of radius r. The pressure at both the ends of the cavity are assumed to be same. The, uh, the pressure at both the ends of the cavity. So, there won't be any pressure difference here. 
the pressure term of the momentum won't be coming into picture uh, so that the fluid moves through the annular region and uh, moves through this annular region only because of the motion of the rod okay understood uh, at both end pressure is same and the uh, uh, cylindrical rod uh, of radius kappa is moving axially with velocity v0 and because of this only the fluid from the outside will be coming into coming uh, through the, the outside annular region of the rod okay in the outside annular region between the rod and that cylindrical uh, cylindrical uh, cylinder of radius r okay so now the question stands is that uh, choose the correct expression for the velocity distribution in this narrow annular region where d1 and d2 are the integration constant integration constant that means it will be uh, in dimensionless form so uh, i'll give you five minutes to solve this and then i'll show you the how to do the solution
মানে এখন দু ঘন্টা দেড় ঘন্টা তো বন্ধ করতে পারবেন Okay, so uh, I'll start with the solution now. Uh, solution of the question. Let me share the screen first. Uh, okay so this is question number six as we can see this is the annular region if this is the pipe this is the midsection of the pipe Sorry, this was not visible. Uh, I will be starting again. Okay. So what I have drawn is that this is the pipe. This is the annual region of the pipe. It's visible, right? So. This is the annular region of the pipe. Here the pipe is there. And uh, this is it. And this is R. Here if we take a small strip. This is delta R. And in here. At R is equal to R. V is equal to 0. And here. At R is equal to kappa R, V is equal to V naught. Now, it said that pressure at both ends of the cavity is same. So, the pressure term of momentum won't be there. The flow is horizontal. So, gravitational term won't be there. Now, in a strip, we selected what enters. That exits 
also convective momentum contribution is not there. So now if we do the momentum balance, the condu conductive momentum in minus conductive momentum out. is equal to zero okay so what will be this this will be 2 pi r l tau r z at r minus 2 pi r l tau r z at r plus del a is equal to zero now dividing both side by 2 pi del r l and taking limit del r tends to 0. Limit del r tends to 0 r tau r z r plus l r minus r tau r z at r upon del r is equal to 0 or d d r of r tau r z is equal to 0 r tau r z is equal to 0 is equal to c1 Okay. So, tau R Z is equal to C one by R minus mu D V Z by D R is equal to C one by R as with increase in radius D Z decreases, as we can see here. With increase in radius, is a decrease. Or D V Z T R is equal to minus C one by R mu. Or D Z is equal to minus C one by mu ln R plus C two. Okay. So what will be the boundary conditions here? What will be the boundary conditions here? The boundary conditions are both of them will be no slip condition. Both of them will be no slip condition. At capital R, VZ is equal to 0, the no slip conditions. Uh, this I have already included. At capital R, Vz is equal to 0 and at kappa R, Vz is equal to B0. Now, if we put boundary condition 1 in this equation, what we get? 0 is equal to minus C1 by mu ln R plus C2. 
और शिवा शिव के जो पाई थे शिवम भाई ने लॉन्पर बी सेट इज इक्वल टू माइनस सीवन बाई न्यू लॉन आर प्लस सीवन बाय न्यू लॉन कैपिटल आर दिस इज इक्वेशन वन नाउ वी पुट बाउंड्री कंडीशन टू टू वी गेट वी वन वी नॉट इज इक्वल टू सी वन माइनस वन बाई म्यू लॉन कप्पा आर प्लस वन बाई म्यू लॉन आर दिस इज इक्वेशन टू वन डिवाइड बाय टू रिजल्ट बाय बी नॉट इज इक्वल टू लॉन कैपिटल आर बाय स्मॉलर बाय लॉन वन बाय कप्पा इज इक्वल टू लॉन कैपिटल आर बाय स्मॉलर माइनस लॉन कप्पा नाउ D1 and D2 that we need to find out as indicated in the equation. These are both integration constants and should be dimension less. Okay. So this is equal to minus one by ln k ln capital R by smaller. This is minus minus one by ln k ln smaller by capital R plus c. So this is d one and this is d two in dimensionless form. Okay, therefore we get v z. By v not is equal to minus d one, ln smaller by capital R plus d two. So which one is the answer? The answer is A. This is the question, right? Huh? The answer is A. Now second question is what is the d one and d two? D one is equal to minus one by ln kappa, and D two is equal to zero. What option option is this? This is option number C. Okay. Now, this is question number seven. So we will go to question number eight. Find the mass rate of flow through the annular region. And obtain the viscous force acting on the rod over the length. Find the mass flow rate through the annular region. Okay, so I'll give you five minutes for this and uh, show me the solution after that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay. So, uh, we'll start with the solution now.
okay so we have to find out the mass rate of flow through the energy the mass rate of flow means w w means first we have to integrate it between the whole of theta that is 0 to 2 pi and then kappa r to r this will be d theta and r dr this is for r and this is for theta and density into the velocity so this will be the corresponding area 2 pi r dr 2 pi r dr 2 pi from here we get 2 pi 2 pi r dr is the corresponding area and density and the velocity okay i'm audible right So, now we will get 2 pi rho v naught r square ln k. We will just put this equation, this equation. Okay. And this is kappa r to r ln small r by capital R, small r by capital R. What we are doing, we are just multiplying and dividing by r d small r by capital R. So, what will be this? This will be like if we take small r by capital R to be zeta, not like this, like this, zeta to be zeta, d of small r by capital R will be d zeta. Small r is equal to kappa r zeta is equal to kappa r by r is equal to kappa but when small r is equal to r these are the limits okay we need to find out the limits capital r by r is equal to 1 so from here we will get w is equal to that is the mass flow rate the mass flow rate is equal to 2 pi rho v naught r square by ln k kappa to 1 ln zeta into zeta d zeta is equal to 2 pi rho v naught r square by ln kappa ln zeta integration zeta d zeta this is elate we already know about elate we are applying this here minus integration d d zeta ln zeta integration zeta d zeta d zeta this is limit is kappa to 1 ok so this is 2 pi rho v naught r square by ln kappa ln zeta this will be zeta square by 2 minus integration this is 1 by zeta into this is zeta square by 2 d zeta this is kappa to 1 so this is 2 pi rho v naught r square by ln kappa ln zeta zeta square by 2 minus this is zeta square this is zeta by 2 but zeta again will be zeta square by 2 so zeta square by 4 kappa 1 from this this comes this okay so this is 2 pi rho v naught r square by ln kappa minus 1 by 4 putting the values minus kappa square by 2 ln kappa plus kappa square by 4 so this is equal to just 2 pi rho v naught r square by ln kappa minus 1 by 2 kappa square ln kappa minus 1 by 4 1 minus kappa square this is w 
this is the mass flow rate that we are supposed to find out okay so now we need to uh, find out the viscous force acting on the rod over the length then okay so i'll give you uh, okay uh, what is this supposed to be find found out we need to find find out viscous force f viscous force f f acting on the rod over the length bell. acting viscous is acting on the rod so i'll give you five more minutes to solve this and then we'll gradually proceed towards the solution
Okay, so uh, we'll now start with the solution of question number eight, second part. Eight. Second part. So the force on the length L of the rod of radius kappa r. This will be force is equal to again 0 to 2 pi and 0 to L length. This is plus dvz dr f smaller is equal to kappa r kappa r d theta dz. Why kappa r? Kappa is the radius of the rod and y plus. Here, this is the rod and this was the midpoint. But here, we are getting from this point to top. So, as the radius is increasing, velocity is also increasing. That's why here positive. Okay. Because from center of the pipe, as we move towards the pipe uh, pipe wall, the velocity increases. That's why tau is equal to plus mu dv dz. Okay. Now, mu dvz dr at smaller is equal to kappa r. This is, is equal to mu d dr. This we already know, B naught 1 by ln k ln small r by capital R, R is equal to kappa R. Mu B naught by ln k 1 by capital R, 1 by small r by capital R, R is equal to kappa R. Mu V naught by ln K kappa R. Therefore, force is equal to 0 to L 2 pi mu V naught kappa R ln K kappa R dz 2 pi mu V naught L by ln K kappa R kappa r f is equal to 2 pi kappa r mu b naught l 1 by kappa r by ln k this is the final expression okay so next question for a liquid with density 800 kg per meter cube and viscosity is given uh, and flow over a uh, vertically oriented flat plate of uh, dimension this uh, uh, is given. Calculate the mass flow rate in kg per second if the film thickness is 1 mm. Okay. Uh, for falling film, 
the uh, mass flow rate expression and Reynolds number expression are already given. So find out the nature of the days. I'll be stopping the sharing of this and I'll give you three minutes for solving this. Then we'll gradually solve the. Then after that we'll solve the solution.
Okay, so I'll start with the solution now, up to five minutes. Mm. This is question number nine. So what is the question? First, we need to find out W. For following film, the equation is already given W is equal to rho square G W delta cube. This is W width. 
चलता क्यों थ्री नहीं सो दिस इज गिवेन एज एट हंड्रेड स्क्वायर नाइन पॉइंट एट वन थ्री इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस टू सी एल इंटू डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू इज गिवेन ऑलरेडी थ्री इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस टू इंटू वन इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस थ्री होल क्यूब दिस इज थ्री इंटू पॉइंट वन डब्ल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 सिक्स टू सेवन एट नाइन बट हियर वी यूज लेमिनर रीजन but we need to verify whether it is a laminar region or not so we need to calculate Reynolds number Reynolds number is 4 small w by capital W no so 4 into 0 0.000627 by 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 by 0.8 this is equal to 0.83712 so obviously this is less than 1500 so this lies in laminar region and this equation here is valid now next question question number 10 so what is the question number 10 when a system contains two or more Achha, let me of the shading okay. uh, when a system contains two or more compon uh, components whose concentration vary from point to point there is a tendency for mass to be transferred minimizing the concentration difference between the system correct the fluid immediately adjacent to the solid boundary are stationary and the thin layer of fluid close to the surface will never be in laminar flow regardless of the nature of the system this is completely wrong it should be as such a thin layer of fluid close to the surface will always will always be laminar flow in turbulent flow also thin layer uh, just uh, just close to the uh, just close to the surface will be stationary this is called viscous sublayer in case of turbulent so this will be false next is the Lagrangian approach is used to analyze a fluid flow by assuming the fluid to be composed of very large number of particles whose motion must be described. On the other hand, Eulerian method of description of properties of flow field are described all as function of space coordinates. No, not as space coordinates, as time also. So, the Eulerian method of description of properties of a fluid uh, flow field are described uh, as a function of space coordinates and as time. Okay, uh, this is all for today. This is all for today. Uh, I am ending the class right now and will continue will continue uh, next day so okay meet you guys next week bye bye